class of 2021, CEO family and friends. My name is Johnny Howdy, I'm principal of Kasumi Oaks High School. I'd like to welcome you to our class of 2021 senior awards event. These awards honor not only the students, but their families, the Kasumi Oaks High School staff and students, and the Elk Grove community. Even though we have been through a challenging school year, we have these outstanding students who have persevered and who have demonstrated resilience and excellence in light of all the circumstances. With all of our students who are graduating, I'd like to highlight um, some key numbers related to class of 2021. This year we are graduating 511 seniors. This year we are offering approximately 1 million in scholarships. We have 384 seniors who are graduating with a cumulative grade point average of 3.0 and above. We have 280 seniors graduating with a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 and above. 127 seniors are graduating with a cumulative grade point average of 4.0 and above. Our top 10 students earned an average of a 4.57 GPA. 90% of our seniors plan on furthering their education in the fall, 41% of our seniors will attend a university, and 49% will attend a community college or trade school, with 2% of our students, our senior class, joining the military. Thank you. The Top 10 Scholar Award goes to seniors who are ranked in the top 10 of their class over a four-year period based on their weighted cumulative grade point average. This is the highest academic honor a senior can receive. Each of our top 10 students has identified one educator who they would like to honor as having influenced their academic success. Let us begin by recognizing our number 10 student. This student has a 4.49 GPA and plans to attend UC Irvine where she will study computer science. Congratulations to Camille Pond. Camille's honored educator is Melissa Hale. Ms. Mrs. Hale is the coding and robotics pathway advisor and teacher at Kasuma Soaps High School. Our number nine student has a 4.5 GPA and also plans to attend UC Irvine where she will study molecular and cognitive science. Congratulations to Trisha, Trisha Nguyen Pham. Trisha's honored educator is Dami Nguyen. Ms. Nguyen is a retired first grade teacher from Irene B. West Elementary School. Our number eight student has a 4.53 GPA and plans to attend UCLA where she will study psychobiology. Congratulations to Zinnia Kwan. Zinnia's honored educator is Julie Chase. Ms. Chase is a counselor at COHS. Our number seven student has a 4.54 GPA and plans to attend UC Davis where he will major in global disease and be a pre-vet. Congratulations to Nicholas Wang. Nicholas has selected Dylan Brantley as his honored educator. Mr. Brantley teaches science at Kasuma Soaps. Our number six student has a 4.55 GPA and plans to attend UC Berkeley, where he will study molecular and cell biology. Congratulations to Miles Funk. Miles's honored educator is Elsa Lyon, who currently teaches social science at Toby Johnson Middle School. Our number five student has a 4.57 GPA and plans to attend UC Davis, where he will study computer science and engineering. Congratulations to Ethan Chan. Ethan has selected Rachel Baird as his honored educator. Mrs. Baird is the chair of the English department at COHS. Our number four student has a 4.58 GPA and plans to attend UCLA, where he will study math. Congratulations to Arwen Ederaldi Garong. Arwen has selected Jim Taylor as his honored educator. Mr. Taylor is the co-chair of the math department at COHS. Our number three student has a 4.59 GPA and also plans to attend UCLA, where he will study computer science. Congratulations to Wesley Sang. Wesley has selected Dory Baker as his honored educator. Mrs. Baker was formerly the head counselor at COHS and is currently the Director of Guidance for St. Francis High School. 
It is now my sincere privilege to announce the salutatorian and valedictorian for the class of 2021. Our salutatorian this year is Alex Bravo. He has received this honor by earning a GPA of 4.60. Alex has worked very hard during his tenure at Casimas Oaks, and we are proud of him. He considers his top accomplishments to be his artistic portfolio and individual creative writing product projects he has created at CM. Alex will be attending UCLA in the fall and plans to major in comparative literature and English. Congratulations, Alex. Our valedictorian for 2021 is Zhaorong Chen. His GPA was an astonishing 4.67. His memories while at CO may not have necessarily been academic. He is very proud of his participation in state honors band and award-winning field shows with the Kasuma Soaks High School Band. He also is proud of going to the semifinals with the CO tennis team and the fact that he has not gotten a B letter grade in all of high school. Zarong will be attending Cornell University in the fall where he will major in computer sciences. Congratulations, Zarong. This next award is for the U.S. Air Force Math and Science. The math department initially nominated this student and all the science teachers readily agreed with them. This young lady is a fantastic science student. Her teachers all agree that she is very smart, works hard, and is a great teammate to her fellow peers when it comes to learning together. I've had the pleasure of teaching this student for two years in three classes, both in my AP Physics and Engineering and Design courses. She has excelled and was a model student. I have been very proud to be her teacher, and I want to congratulate Emily Sok in receiving this year's U.S. Air Force Math and Science Award. U.S. Army Scholar Athlete goes to a female who was a two-sport varsity athlete all four years. She will be attending Cal State Monterey Bay on a track and cross-country scholarship. She has been a member of the track and field team for four years and a four-year member of the cross-country team. She has won awards with the CBC and all Delta League honors all four years while attending Consumers Oaks High School. She was the California State cross-country meet qualifier three years, 2018, 2019, 2020. She was a top 10 finisher in cross country all four years and in 98% of the meets she completed. She is a CIF Sac Joaquin section track and field meet qualifier in the 1600 meters in 2018 and 2019. She was the team captain for the 219 and 221 season. Our winner is Natalie Harper. Our male recipient goes to an individual who was a four-year starter on the varsity baseball team. He was a two-time all-league selection, team captain for three years. He carries an overall GPA of 4.0 and will be attending University of San Francisco on a baseball scholarship. Along with his achievements on the field, he is respected and a coachable young man with a great work ethic. Our winner is Elvin Bellick. Good afternoon, parents, faculty, and students. For the past 245 years, the Marine Corps has been revered throughout the world for its success, decisiveness, leadership, and dedication. Every Marine is instilled with our core values, honor, courage, and commitment. This afternoon, I would like to recognize a few students that display the characteristics portrayed by the United States Marines. Our first two Distinguished Athlete Awards goes to one male and female athlete, both of whom must be involved not just in varsity sports teams, but also in their communities. At this time, I would like to recognize Anthony Grigsby and Emily Eddy. Our next award goes to a young woman who is recognized as a great academic scholar, a leader amongst her peers, 
and is an outstanding citizen. Join me in congratulating Faith Ten. Our last award tonight goes to a young musician who plays first chair, is an outstanding soloist and performer, not just in the musical theater, but in all that he does. This young man balances schoolwork and perfecting his music. It gives me great pride to present the Semper Fidelis Award to Anthony Jacob Joseph. Sun Tzu, an Eastern philosopher stated, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. For the class of 2021, congratulations on a job well done, but the journey has just begun. Remember students, tough times don't last, but tough people do. Once again, I am Sergeant Pinner, your local Marine Corps representative. The Consumer Results High School Distinguished Student Athlete Award goes to, student, goes to a student athlete who has earned eight varsity letters while attending school. This year we have two re recipients of this distinguished award. The first recipient was a four-year member of our girls cross country team and a four-year member of our track and field team. She has an overall GPA of 3.7. Our first recipient is Natalie Harper. Our second recipient was also a four-year member of our girls' cross-country team and a four-year member of our track and field team. She has an overall GPA of 4.1. Our second recipient is Emily Eddy. The Consumers Oaks High School Female Athlete of the Year goes to an individual who is a four-year varsity swimmer, six team records, four individuals, and two relays. She has over 10 San Joaquin section qualifying times top 10 finisher in every section event, most valuable swimmer, three years, team captain, overall GPA of 4.5. She will be attending University of California, Berkeley in the fall. Our award winner is Amanda Takamoto. The male recipient goes to an individual who is a three-year varsity boys basketball player, two, two varsity team captains selected for honor all Metro honorable mention marked as the most valuable player for the team and received the first team all Delta League award in 2019-2020 season. He is also a track and field athlete for the past two seasons. He played second in the high jump in 2019 at the Division I San Joaquin section track and field championships which qualified him for the CIF track and field masters meet where he finished ninth. Our award winner is Ravana Miller. While the idea of being a natural at something is up for debate, Gabby certainly presents as a natural leader. The editor-in-chief position for your book is one that requires a tremendous amount of balance. It's a tricky one. The student in that position has a unique burden of both holding fellow students accountable and also being approachable enough that they can be an encouraging an accessible resource to our yearbook staffers. They can't alienate staffers, but they also can't be doormats. Gabby has the kind of patience and guidance that her position requires in spades. And given her varsity softball chops, we're gonna to switch to softball references here. She consistently steps up to the plate with her willingness to take on responsibility. She reliably takes one for the team when it comes to tasks both tedious and weighty. And she adapts to curveballs with grace and tenacity. Her authentic, committed, and thoughtful brand of leadership has kept us going in this unprecedented year in a way that few other students could. And for that, we are extremely grateful and proud, both of Gabby and of the work that her leadership has made possible. Thank you and congratulations. Our ASB president for 2021 has presided over the most unusual year in high school that any of us have ever known. She was elected just before we were forced into our homes and had to learn from a distance. She was responsible for creating a school culture in a world that didn't exist just mere months prior. She helped develop and drove our Mindfulness Monday program to help our students feel welcome and included. You may not know the work she has done, but she has always had your well-being in mind. Her gavel may be the same as previous presidents, 
but she definitely has earned it in a most unusual way. For that, I am honored to present this year's ASB Presidential Gavel to Sansara Shergill. It's my pleasure to introduce two students as recipients for the Department Award for the Career Technical Education Department. Congratulations to Nathan Brown and Cheryl Cook. Both Cheryl Cook and Nathan Brown have been an integral part of our CTE pathways here at Casinos Oaks High School. Nathan is actively involved in the robotics and the VEX robotics team. He stays after school to work on projects. He completes any task asked of him and can always be depended on to help his classmates. Cheryl has taken over our cybersecurity club. She creates and teaches weekly lessons and has increased membership from just six members last year to over 35 members this year. Both Cheryl and Nathan leave very big shoes to fill and will be greatly missed, but we look forward to hearing all of the amazing things that they accomplish in their future. Hi, the English department would like to recognize Carlos Cazada and Tricia Wynn Fan. Both of these students entered secondary school as English learners and worked with dedication to improve their language skills through frequent class participation and taking every possible opportunity to revise and enhance their writing. Both students have excelled in English and beyond, taking multiple AP courses and participating in clubs and student organizations during their time at Consumers Oaks. Carlos's teachers state that he is an impressive and gifted writer. Having read his personal insight questions, I can attest to his ability to write vividly with clear voice and attentive detail. His teachers also emphasize that he is a hard worker and thoughtful student who has excelled by taking extra opportunities to get feedback and revise his writing. Trisha's teachers speak foremost about how refreshing her positive attitude, kindness, and engagement are, and the ways in which she benefits the class, both dur during in-person schooling and during distance learning. Trisha is also an AP Capstone graduate this school year and has deepened and developed her critical reading skills and academic voice in her research reports and studies. Both Carlos and Tricia have greatly enhanced their classes by serving as role models in active participation and perseverance and embody the concept of growth mindset. We are so proud of their growth and achievement and are excited to recognize them for their excellence in English language arts. Thank you. What is a mathematician? We think of mathematicians as this kind of robotic creature who has, kind of looks like a person, but not really that much. A mathematician has no emotions, has a monotone voice all the time, no feeling, no inflection, no passion. When he does a math problem, he makes some strange noises, spits out an answer that's always correct, but usually not very interesting. Cushy is the opposite. She is a mathematician, for sure, but she is no robot. On the contrary, she has been the humanizing force of our Mathletes Club. She, uh, so here's a sneak peek into a Mathletes meet. Uh, everybody's working silently on a math problem, 10 minutes, trying different equations, different models. Um, at, the, at the end of the time, students are feeling kind of sheepish because they didn't get a right answer. Um, everybody's kind of quiet. And then Kushi pipes up, that was tough. I had no idea what to do. And suddenly everybody's at ease, kind of chuckle and get back to our work and work together to, to find a solution that, that, that makes sense for us all. So this is what Kushi does. She makes us, rem reminds us that it's okay to laugh at ourselves. It's okay not to know the answer. It's okay to be human. Everybody enjoys themselves more when Kushi's there. She makes relationships real and she makes math real. She's a real, live, authentic mathematician. Um, my co-chair, Ms. Sherwood, had Kushi for multiple classes and as a soccer coach as well. She adds that Kushi was a strong problem solver in honors pre-calculus her sophomore year and in AP Calculus BC her junior year. She took the challenge to complete all of the BC Calculus in two terms while coming to extra after-school lessons during interim and during distance learning to knock out the AP exam, knock it out of the park. Cushing made the classroom a better place for discussion 
and modeled how we want our students to achieve. Kushi, you model for us what is best about CO and what is best about math. Keep up the good attitude, Kushi. A couple weeks ago, I had uh, my first ramen dinner made in a restaurant. It looked a piece of art, a spectacular presentation. I took a sip and my first impression was, meh, it was underwhelming, bland. There was, um, at the end of the meal, there was more broth, more broth in the bowl than I could finish, so I took some home as leftovers. Um, and I tasted it a couple days later, and I couldn't believe my mouth. It was, uh, the taste was rich, complex, and then dang, boom, powerful spices explode. Dark, dark rich, earthy flavors, a balance of savory and spicy, it's a life-changing meal. Amazing. Um, that ramen experience aptly describes my relationship with Harwin. As a young freshman in my Math 2 class, it was meh. But then as the weeks progressed, I began to see a, hi a hidden side of Arwen. I discovered that Arwen is a math adventurer. Finding one solution is not enough for Arwen. He wants to find two or three. Are there more? Is there a different way to look at the problem? Teachers love this sort of thing because it helps people that are anxious about math think, oh, there's more than one way of doing this. Um, more than one way of approaching the problem. It's golden. Maybe this is why Arwen found so much pleasure in our math leads club. Because even as a freshman, he dove into the most challenging math leads problem, way above his grade level. Arwen's been a math lead all four years at CO, and every year he brought our team this exciting growth mindset, this attitude of, I can do this. This is fun. Um, Arwen's calculus teacher and my co-chair, Mrs. Sherwood, adds that Arwen continued to do impressive work his junior year and senior year in AP Calculus AB and AP Calculus BC. He's an astounding mathematician. We salute your achievements, Arwen. We're proud of you. The recipient for this year's Vocal Performing Arts Department Award found her home in the choir room and as my right hand four years ago. From the first day of choir in the ninth grade, she has been an ever-present force for good in the vocal arts. She has worked to grow her vocal talent and helped her peers to stay focused and do the same. All with a wit that is unlike anyone else and a sensitivity beyond her years. As my right hand, she helped to keep the dress closet organized, has been a section leader, and recruited friends into the choir family. I am confident that she has the tools and the temperament to go far in life, not just in her future vocal endeavors, but in whatever career field she chooses. It is with great pride that this year's Vocal Performing Arts Department Award goes to Bea Magira. The second Performing Arts Department Award goes to Evelyn Love. Evelyn is our Thespian Honors True President, and honestly, if I were unable to run the program tomorrow, Evelyn could easily run the program in my place. Evelyn is an exceptional leader. Under their leadership, the Thespian Troop has switched gears completely during this pandemic. They run a student-led YouTube channel, and Evelyn has been awarded multiple medals and scholarships recognizing the work they have done in theater. As a true th triple threat, Evelyn has also studied dance and vocal music here at CO. Evelyn plans to take a gap year to explore career opportunities in theater, and it is truly my honor to present this award as a final recognition of Evelyn's growth and dedication. Evelyn, thank you so much for sharing all of yourself throughout these years. Trying to get high school students to embrace their fitness can sometimes be challenging. This year, even through COVID, we had two students who made getting in better shape a personal challenge. No one worked out more this year than Sydney McElargy. Sydney took the personal fitness classes all four terms and turned getting into shape a daily habit. Her dedication and desire to work hard and make her fitness a top priority was inspiring to say the least. 
Also, no one worked out harder in a period than Jackson Blackbird. Jackson made the most of every minute in the personal fitness classes. His effort day in and day out this year, and in his PE9 and PE10 days, made Jackson an easy pick for this year's award. Congratulations to Jackson Blackburn and Sydney McElargy for being selected as the PE Students of the Year. Each year, the Science Department recognizes two students for their outstanding achievements and dedication to the pursuit of science. I am personally proud to introduce the first award recipient to you tonight. This student has an aptitude and enthusiasm for science that is truly inspiring. They've shown time and again that they are more than capable in their AP Chemistry and AP Physics courses. Unfortunately, I've never had the pleasure of having them in my class, but I have grown to know them the last four years through their work in the Science Olympiad. As team captain, they have shown immense leadership skills in coordination with patience and kindness. This year, they led the Kasunas Oaks and Pinkerton Science Olympiad teams to the top of the regional competition and on to the Northern California State Competition, a first in both CO and Pinkerton history. I am honored tonight to present the Science Department Award of Excellence to Camille Pond. I'm here to present the Science Award for this year. The recipient of this award is an exceptionally smart student. This student, in my opinion, is one of the brightest, if not the brightest student this year in physics. This person is always engaged in the lesson, asking questions and answering them. This student is also very respected and well liked in the class. The attention to detail and ability to complete labs quickly, accurately, and efficiently has made this student a valuable lab partner. I think that most of his classmates would agree that Zhuang Chen is an excellent recipient for the COHS Science Award for the class of 2021. Well done. I'm very proud to have been your teacher for two years. This year, the Social Science Department would like to acknowledge two incredible students who not only made lasting impressions on our staff, but were instrumental in creating a sense of normalcy during such an unusual school year. Our first department award goes to Josue Navarro. When Mr. Roth spoke of Josue, he said, Josue is a dependable and hardworking kid that makes no excuses. He never misses class and is usually one of the first to log in. He always completes every assignment and never misses a deadline. Josue voluntarily participates in class discussions, is a leader in breakout rooms, and has a habit of greeting the class with a good morning in the chat box. During this difficult year, Josue has been a breath of fresh air and an absolute pleasure to be around. Ms. Dietrich shared that she had the pleasure of having Josue for three terms this year, and while she enjoyed working with him the first two terms that they shared, she said that during their last term together, he was a lifesaver. She said that his feedback regarding her curriculum was invaluable and that her new students should thank him for all the adjustments she made based on his feedback. She greatly appreciated having a student she could trust and count on. He took initiative in helping his classmates through a difficult school year. He was proactive in asking questions, and his work was always stellar. She said, heck, he could have taught the class he was so on top of things. Josue, from Social Science, we thank you for your commitment to learning and for all of your contributions to our classrooms. Our second department award goes to Olivia DuPont. Not only has Olivia accelerated academically in all of our classes, her willingness to help students when she sees the, sees the need sets her apart from her peers. Every teacher in our department that has had the pleasure of having her in their class uses common words to describe her. Kind, hardworking, positive, engaged. They say she's a pleasure to have in class. She's both aware and supportive of her peers when they struggle. She's an active participant in her own learning. And most of all, we all recognize that she positively contributes to all of our classrooms every single day. As a department, we are extremely proud of her and all of her accomplishments at CO. Mr. Garcia describes Olivia as super nice, always respectful and attentive academically, and shared he appreciated that she laughs at his lame attempts at humor, which to be honest, really shows how above and beyond Olivia is really willing to go. My own first impression of Olivia was that she was eager to learn, driven, astute, and confident. She was consistently able to articulate her multifaceted questions, which was a genuine asset for many of her classmates and contributed greatly to the class dynamic as a whole. I must say I was beyond impressed with her performance as a student, her ability to navigate challenges, and her authenticity as a person. She's one of those rare students who knows what she wants, who she is, and will light up the world around her while pursuing her dreams. Olivia plans to enter the teaching profession in either social science or math, 
and we all believe that she will not only enjoy a successful career in education, but will undoubtedly positively impact the lives of hundreds of students in the future. Olivia, thank you for an amazing four years. You've left a lasting impression on all of us. We cannot wait to see you down the road thriving in this profession and call you a teacher colleague. Hello, it is my great honor in introducing the recipient for the Senior Award for the Strategies Department 2020-2021 school year. This student has worked really hard throughout the whole school year, been dedicated to keeping a great GPA with the challenges of distance learning. She's kept her head up above water, kept her grades good, and participated in many activities. It is with great pleasure and honor that I introduce the Strategies Department Senior Award, Lauren Washington. Congratulations, Lauren. I know you do great things in the years to come. After knowing you these past four years at Kasumas Oaks High School, how would I describe you, Logan Chu? You are a young man who is always smiling and brings a smile to those you meet. You are polite to adults and classmates alike. You're a young man who's respectful of rules and expectations. You're a young man who's hardworking and will always go the extra mile to succeed. Logan, you're a young man who's determined to make your parents proud of you. You are constantly reminding teachers of why we chose this profession. You're a young man who's focused. You are a young man focused on being the very best you can be. You're a success story, Logan Chu, and always will be. You deserve this honor, but more importantly, it's been the Wolfpack family's honor to watch you and watch you grow into the amazing young man that you are. Congratulations, Logan. The CO staff wish you good luck and success always as you continue on life's path. For this year's Visual Art Department Awards, the individuals being recognized have not only been exceptional artists, but also have gone above and beyond to create a campus culture that nurtures creativity, celebrates both effort and talent, and connects us in spite of the distance. Our first recipient has participated in both the visual arts and graphic design from the moment she stepped foot on CO's campus. Classes, clubs, after school events, competitions, she's done it all. Uh, from participating as a freshman and sophomore to leading as a junior and senior, art club, studio club, and graphic design leadership would not have been the same without her. I'm proud to present one of this year's Visual Arts Department Awards to Hannah Makino. Congratulations, Hannah! Well, our second recipient is Alex Bravo, an intelligent young lad with dry wit and a surrealist's imagination. As a freshman in my Art One class, Alex was always a pleasure to talk to and the only one that got all of my art references. He's a leader who doesn't seek out leadership, as students are naturally drawn to him by his talent, his wit, and his humor. He unknowingly pushes those around him to challenge himself and create something new, at least in art class, by paying attention to the work around him, offering comments, suggestions, but more importantly, asking questions about his own artwork, listening to suggestions, even as he already knew exactly what he wanted to do, and empowering others by asking for their opinion and suggestions, uh, resulting in often stimulating conversation and quality artwork from everyone at the table. Alex's artistic problem-solving skills, his ability to communicate clearly and thoughtfully through his art in ways that transcend language, his methodical planning and steady perseverance are all qualities that I believe are important for success in any field Alex chooses to pursue. He's a deep thinker, a kind soul, and a true artist in the purest sense of the word. I wish him well. I'm glad to nominate Angel as recipient for the Senior Award for World Language in the Spanish class of 2021. 
Angel is currently part of the AP Spanish language and culture class, but I have known him since he arrived at our school as a new student. Angel is a dedicated, responsible, respectful, and honorable student. He is a hard worker and is always determined to improve his academic skills. I would like to thank Angel for being such a good student and I have no doubt that you will be a successful gentleman in the future. As teacher, I'm so proud to have been part of your education. Congratulations, Angel. Adelante. With all my respect, Senora Velasco. Before I present this award, I must say that I had a very difficult time narrowing my choice down to just one student. All of my Japanese honor students are amazing. You guys have been my joy, and I have truly enjoyed having you all in my class. I feel very fortunate to have been part of your life. With that being said, I have to choose one student. So this year's Japanese Senior Award goes to Gabriel Branner. The Japanese language is not the easiest language to learn. However, Gabi has not only worked very hard, but also she brought a great attitude to my class. From the first time she entered Japanese class, I saw her eyes the examine to learn the language. Gabi, thank you for giving me an opportunity to be your teacher. I will miss you tremendously, and I'm so proud to be part of your journey through these years. I can wait to hear all of your accomplishments. Thank you so much for being all that you are. Congratulations, Gabi. Mrs. Tanaka. The Alpha Awards. They are the most prestigious award given here at Kasama Soaks High School. These students best exemplify the school's core values. Prepared scholars, accomplished communicators, natural leaders, and active participants. The recipients are chosen based on many factors, including their scholastic achievement, honors and awards, leadership in clubs and activities, athletics, and participation in school in general. These are the leaders of our campus from all areas. <clears throat> These students will receive an orange victory hood to be worn at graduation. This year's Alpha Award recipients, Haley Barajas, Alejandra Cardona Guzman, Evan Moy, Emily Eddy, Audie Maddie, Olivia DuPont, Justin Gaspar, Ashley Hung, Elizabeth Liu, Hannah Makino, Roman Walton, and Francisco Zamora. Congratulations to you all. Hi, my name is Jesse Champion. I'm one of the vice principals here at CO. In addition to the students who have been named this evening, we have an extensive list deserving of recognition for earning scholarships, pins, stoles, cords, and other noteworthy achievements. These include honors such as the California State Seal of Biliteracy, California Scholarship Federation cords, pins, and stoles, National Honor Society stoles, as well as stoles and pins for programs, pathways, and academies. Please visit the link in this video to see the names of all of these deserving students. Hi class of 2021, I want to congratulate you for not only surviving this crazy year that we've had, but thriving. This puts you in such a good place to continue to achieve all of your dreams and goals for the rest of your life. You've shown you have what it takes and I am so proud of you and can't wait to see what you achieve in the next few years. Congratulations. In closing, 
I would like to thank everyone for joining us to celebrate and recognize our seniors. We look forward to seeing you at our graduation ceremony at the end of this month. Thank you.